All right, welcome back, guys. We are here still in the wall bed area. In honor of the Tuskegee Airmen, commemorative Air Force. old crowd I think we saw this ones yesterday is tall and huge and you wouldn't believe it but it has fabric covered control surfaces Everywhere you look, you see Vance aircraft. This is a taxiway. RV9 This one is from Canada
so many different and unique paint schemes. Miss March 2020. V9A and this one I think he just finished it LEDs all around carbon fiber just got the end number Are Canadians from Canada. He already has his uh, fuel order in. Yeah, so most people just fly and come right here by the aircraft. And if you look far in the distance where you have the balloon, that's where there's a party every night. Everybody seems to converge on there. like I don't see an area for Cessnas. The RVs have, have basically taken out say three quarters of all the aircraft here are RVs. I don't know if you guys have a different assessment but that's how it feels. That's all types confounded. All types included. RVs would be about three quarters of all the aircraft at EAA 2023. There's just so many of them. Shapes, colors, age. Seems like there's some pipers there in the back. Is the biplane doing stunts?
Texas over there. <laughs> I think there have actually been quite a few departures fewer tents there's usually a slot in the morning when people can leave but during the day there's a TFR in this area so you can't leave you're pretty much stuck until the next day early in the morning when that slide window opens again that's my understanding I might be rough, uh, wrong but it's usually in the mornings that I see aircraft leaving from here. All right, let's check out the air cams. Yeah, main selling points are the short field performance and the very heavy uh, useful load, high useful loads that they can carry. Very simple design. You can see what they put there in the back. So these can carry really, really heavy loads compared to the uh, power that the, their engines put out. Here is a twin. I think there are actually some singles. I might be mistaken, but. So far we've seen just twins and having the twin engine also gives you a little bit more security and peace of mind. And by no means are these small aircraft, they're quite big. Here you have a carbon carb EX3. And at this point, we will make another cut here shortly. Let's take a look here. Winds are quite high today. Pimp my ride.
Chrysler Pacifica Hybrid. This came out, I think it was the first hybrid van and then photo shortly by the Toyota Sienna. Tango Flight RV12 IS. Trying to figure out where we haven't been before. I'm pretty sure I'm missing a whole part of this uh, of this show. I just have that feeling there's a great area I haven't been to, but the place is just so vast and there's so much to see. Piper is right here. Let's check what they have. I think they restarted the uh, construction on some of the aircraft that they had stopped producing in the early 80s after the lawsuits caused many manufacturers to shut down. And we'll take a break. While find out what all is happening in here. University of Wisconsin, Oshkosh. They have an aviation program. The marine guys, Vaughan College, Air Charter Express, Nevada National Security Sites, ah, Area 51. Part 141 and Part 61 flight training. Here's NetJet, where you can own a piece of a jet or rent a jet for very little. This is uh, Delta. They have their Propeller Academy, where Aviation, they're based out of the Chicago Executive Airport. Commute Air by United Express. Next gen Minnesota State University, they have an aviation program. Texas AM, Utah Valley University Grant Aviation Southwestern Illinois College Sterling Airways Accelerated Aviation Institute Plain Sense, Neptune Aviation Services, and here you have Golf Aero Flight School. And here you have Sling Pilot Academy, where you can end your commercial in nine months and uh, private to commercial in six months. You have a flight simulator there. 
and Fox Valley Technical College. I guess. Here you have the US Air Force for those looking to enlist. And this would be for women in aviation. Here you have the career center. Let's see what they have. University of North Dakota. Piper Seminole. Right at the entrance, you have jsfirm.com for aviation jobs. That's how you get into Delta Airlines. Air Wisconsin. Endeavor. Allegiant. And all these companies are hiring. Ameriflight, GoJet Airlines, are part of United, Raven Alaska, and Sun Country Airlines. Fly exclusive. Hawaiian Airlines Skywest Aviation Search Group Piemont Airlines Flexjet, Frontier Airlines, Alpine Air, and Envoy. Thank you. And at this point, we are going to make another break.